isang magandang buhay para sa ating lahat. So, right today, remember, di ba, nag-discuss tayo regarding sa vectors. Ngayon, ito yung ating continuation for the discussion of the vectors. So, ma-check na lang natin. Okay, ngayon, so, naalala natin yung composition ng x and y component, tapos yung positioning, even the angle, ganun lahat. Okay, I hope na naintindihan nyo at naalala nyo yung lahat ang discuss natin. So, we will continue our discussion. So, okay, so, this is our first problem. So, we're going to de determine the magnitude and direction of the resultant of the forces shown. So, we have here uh, 5 kN, the other one is 7.5 kN. So, nakita natin dito yung 65 degrees and the other one is 30 degrees. So, remember, di ba, sabi ko sa inyo, you can always start at 0 degrees para at least yung calculator will determine kung positive o negative component siya. Di ba? Para hindi mo naiisipin kung nasaan man siya para mas madali. Okay. So, we have F1x is equal to F cosine theta. So, where F1x is equal to 5 cosine 65. So, remember, this is your axis or starting point to 0 degrees. So, here, this will be your 65 degrees. Ito, di ba? So, pag nakuha mo na yung F1 na 5 cosine 65 degrees, madali na lang sa y kasi papalitan mo na lang yung sine ng, yung cosine, papalitan mo ng sine. So, makukuha natin dito yung value ng F1x and then F1y. Yan. For the F2x, Ganito, di ba? Remember, oh yeah. starting in 0 degrees, pag inikot natin yan, alam natin this will be your 330 degrees or 360 minus 30 will become 330 degrees. So, pag chinek natin yan, so makuha natin F2x is 6.5, the other one F2y is negative 3.75. So, bakit negative siya? Remember, kasi nga, nasa below negative or nasa along the negative y axis siya kaya negative yan so solving for the resultant so we have f is equal to square root of fx squared plus fy squared so nakuha natin tong bali na to that is 8.61 raised squared and then this one is 0 0.78 squared so we have f is equal to 8.65 kilonewton solving for the angle so you're looking for the angle this fy over fx your fy is 0 0.78 and then your fx is 8.61. So, solving for that, you're going to get the angle of 5.18 degrees. And then the direction is northeast. No, this is north, not northeast. Yeah, northeast, yeah, yeah, I mean. Kasi nga pala ito ay positive yung fx mo, positive din yung fy mo. Kaya northeast, ayan. Dito, dito niya, titina niya na, ayan, sign importante. Kasi nag-positive yung fx mo, positive yung y. Ayan. Kaya, north of east. So, we have another here, another problem. This screw I in figure is subjected to two forces, F1 and F2. So, we'll, we have to determine the magnitude and direction of the resultant forces. So, we have the F1 and F1 and F2. So, Ten degrees here along the y positive y axis. Then solving for the F1x is F cosine theta. 100 cosine 15 is 96.59. Then the other one, 100 sine 15 is 25.88. So, pag na natin yan, kung natin yung F2x, which is 15, 150 cosine 80 degrees. Bakit? Kasi ito, here is, alam natin no, 90 minus 10, we have 80 degrees. So, F2y is uh, 150 cosine 80. So, we have the value of F2x and F2y. Solving for the resultant, so we have here, square root of Fx squared plus Fy squared. So, here are the values. Pag nakuha natin yan, makuha natin value ng Fx sa Fy. So, solving for the resultant, so we have 212.73 of Newton. So, theta is equal to inverse tangent of Fy over Fx, where the value of Fy is 173.6 over 122.95 of Fx. So, solving for the angle, we have 54.69 degrees. So, the 
direction, alam natin, the positive yung x natin and positive yung y natin. So, makukuha natin yung direction na ito ay north of east. Ayan, at yan. Diba? So, I hope na nasusundan yung ginagawa natin. Ayan. So, we have here the third problem. So, we determine the magnitude and resultant of the forces acting on the screw eye and its direction measured clockwise from the x-axis. Clockwise. Okay, so, nakita nyo yung ating forces na 6 kN and then the other one is 2 kN. So, here is solving for the fx is equal to f1 cosine theta plus f2 cosine theta where 2 cosine 315. Bakit siya naging 315? Okay, if you look at here, that is 180 plus 270 plus 45, that's 315 degrees. Kaya siya naging 315. Then, the other one is 180 plus 60, that is 240. So, nakuha natin value ng fx natin is negative 1.59. The second one is solving for the Fy. So, 2 sine 315 plus 6 sine 240. So, we have the Fy of negative 6.61. Solving for the resultant, your Fx is negative 1.59 squared plus quantity of negative 6.61 squared. So, you're going to get your resultant is the value of 6.8. And for the angle theta, so we have the inverse tangent of Fy over Fx. So your inverse tangent of 6.61 over 1.59. So here you get the value of the angle of 76.47. So the direction is southwest because your Fx is negative, your Fy is negative. So nasa third quadrant siya. So, south of west. So, I hope na nakita niya. Ayan, oh, negative yan. Negative. So, third quadrant. So, they're both negative. So, ibig sabihin, nandito yan. So, south west siya. Ayan. I hope na nasiitindihan niya na. So, we have here the addition of a system of coplanar forces. When a force is resolved into two components along the x and y axis, so the x the components are then called rectangular components. For analy analytical work, we can represent these components in one or of the two ways using either scalar notation or Cartesian vector notation. So we have the addition of system of coplanar forces. So naalala nyo, di ba? Remember, we use the Sokatoa. Solving for this one, the sine theta, and then the cosine theta, and then the tangent theta. So, nakita nyo, diba? This will be your fx, fy, and then this is your resultant, and then this will be your angle. So, so katoa, opposite over hypotenuse, cosine, o adjacent side over the hypotenuse. So, we have fy is equal to f cosine theta. So, ito yung mga gagamitin natin. Okay, paano naman pag ganito ang given natin, diba? We have... Fx natin is along the x component, positive x component. Yung Fy natin is along the negative y component. So, we have here the angle theta, and then this will be your F. So, we have A, B, C. Okay. So, we have here, so, ratio and proportion tayo, ha? So, Fx over F. So, Fx over F. So, yung Fx natin to Correction is A over C. So, ito yun. So, pag kinaross multiply natin, so we have Fx is equal to F multiply the quantity, uh, multiply the A over C. So, yan. While for the Fy, so this, this is your Fy over F. So, ang ratio proportion niya, B over C. So, cross multiply, Fy is equal to negative of force quantity open cross parenthesis of B over C. Bakit siya negative? Because your Fy is along the negative Y axis. Kaya siya naging negative. Ayan. Okay, so we're looking for the, the, the X and Y components of the F1 and F2. 
on the the boom shown in figure express its forces or as Cartesian vector. Okay. So, alam natin, pag yung Fy, mas madali, di ba? So, F1, X is F1 cosine theta, which is 200 multiplied by 120. Bakit siya naging 120? Because here is 0 degrees, going here is 30 degrees. Or 90 plus 30 is 120. So, we have F1, X is negative 100. The other one is solving for the F1Y, 200 sine 120 degrees. So, F1Y is equal to neg is equal to 173.21. Solving for the F2. So, gagamitin na natin, pinag-aral natin kanina. So, we have F2X over F. So, this will be your F2X over F. So, A over C. So, your A is 12 over 13. Your value of F is 260. So multiplied by 12, divide 13, that's we have 240. So that will be your value of your F2x. Solving for the F2y. So F2y over the force equals equal to B over C. So F2y over 260, which is here, this, that is 260, and then 5 over 13. So 5 over 13. So, F2Y is equal to negative 100. By the way, how can we get the value of the 13? So, using the Pythagorean theorem, so we have 5 squared plus 12 squared. So, you know, value niyan, and then square root mo. So, makukuha natin ay 13. Kaya nakuha dun yun. Dun yun ang galing. So, nasolve na natin yung value ng F1 tsaka F2 na component. Actually, Kukunin pa natin yung resultant niyan. Pwede naman para ma-solve me F2. Pero you're looking for the X and Y component naman. Yun lang yung inahanap dyan. Kaya ganyan ginawa natin. Okay, so this will be our uh, lesson for the coplanar. And then we will continue next meeting, yung ating lesson. So I hope na meron kayong natutunan. So I'm going to upload some of your some of the exercises sa Google Classroom. And then check nyo na lang for the assignment. So thank you. Ciao.